I love our wife, babe. Yeah, I do too. Honestly, I'm excited. Me too. Which is weird because I'm the kind of guy who's never excited about really anything. I know. But lately, I'm excited about all kinds of stuff. Cool, so, right? Yeah, it is. God's doing some incredible things with us. Well, it's, it's cool. good. Really good. I don't know if this will make it into the podcast or not. Talking about albums. You know. But whatever. That's the thing. God. I used to love... I have all of Toad's Wet Sparkets albums. Yeah. Except for the newer stuff they did. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I think they got back together. Oh, really? After Coil. Yeah. Coil, I... St- I mean, Coil was the last one. Because Glenn did a solo. I had Glenn, Glenn's album, his first album. I didn't get a second one. <laughs> um, it was good. But I like Toad. And especially, you know, just after high school. Yeah. I got way into Toad Wet Spark. Yeah. Um, I listened to a lot of Depeche Mode. And I listened to a lot of Depeche Mode. Alphaville, Erasure. Oh my gosh, yeah. I listened to Erasure so... Yes, I was to Erasure a lot. That pop, pop 20 yeah. album, man, it's so set over and over and over, and over, and over. all the time. Yeah, this, um, when you know the next song coming up and you can start singing. It. I mean, I grew, up, I grew up on Christian music, so it was like, um, that's a whole other thing. Um, the whole other world. I was, I mean, I started listening to music, Christian music, right at the dawn of the Christian rock thing. I think Larry Norman had been doing it for a while. And when I grew up, it was like Petra, Whiteheart, um, very early stuff. Um, Keith Green, The Imperials. Um, gosh. I'm sure the Amy Grant, Michael W. Smith, very early stuff. Um, so that's why I grew up on. I still listen to Keith Green. He's still my favorite. I still listen to some, some Amy Grant songs, but I don't have any of her albums. Mm-hmm. Um, working in a Christian store selling music is weird. What's a Christian store? You know, this whole Bibles and books and music and gifts. The gifts were a little strange. They had a jewelry <laughs> rack. Yeah. Which I thought was fascinating. Um, I don't know. Music is an interesting thing. But I'll tell you what. In my in my life, Christianity, the religion of it, burned me so bad. That's why when when you met me, I was kind of I had faith. But I was kind of not sure about it. And our experiences in church, the churches weren't great. Mm-hmm. You know? But now, what we have now versus church, where we actually read our Bibles and actually apply the things God, Jesus says, yeah. actually apply them, why they unlocked in my brain if they did, if they have, why, if I, why we've had such a huge revelation. Yeah is beyond me but when uh, we got into the J.U. thing I mean Dennis whatever Dennis said I barely remember exactly what he said to me but just light just went off and oh yeah it's like Jesus lives in us Jesus is in us he wants us to be him to others yeah he wants people to see him he wants others to see him through us yeah know what you have inside of you like that's a huge deal don't forsake that because god will never forsake us it's in how you love yeah it's in how you pray Mm -hmm. it's in what you pray for it's what it's what you do with your life it's what you do and don't do like that's you know what i mean yeah yeah but i mean it's more about what you do with your life yeah because within that, there is you don't do. You don't have to think right. of the negative yeah, you don't you do. do. You just do the thing yeah. that God tells you. Absolutely. And as far as what you do, it just is it edifying to your spirit. Yeah. Is it drawing you closer to Him? 
know? Mm -hmm. Is what you do, the things you're practicing, you're seeking, will it draw you closer to him all the time? You know, keep it, keeping yourself guarded by reading his word and, and obeying. Man, people get really hung up on obey. I think when God says obey, it's more about it's more about believing. It's more about faith and believing what he says is true and doing it. And people here obey, they think of like a whip. The thing that's interesting I think a lot of times. At least I did when I was younger. The thing that's interesting about obey is that what don't you want to do what is pleasing to God in that sense? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. in that you are obeying. I, it's but very I think interesting. That, 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 that it's obey sounds like connotation. I'm going to be about yeah. back your neck and you making will. Yeah, you do a it. force rather than but saying. That's not what it means. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not, not at all. It's not. It's something else altogether. Yep. It's a loving. See, I was talking to you last, <coughs> last night about. I, I had. It hit me like. I don't know why, it, 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 why it, now it hit me, but like temptation. Mm -hmm. What is temptation? I had to think about that with a perspective change, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> so what is temptation really? Well, it's the device the devil uses. Those things are what they seem. The temptations, the acts, the, the acts of the flesh. Yeah. Those things, what they really are is a doorway for the spirit world, for demons, to afflict you. And so the devil wants you to do those things. Look over here. Yeah, he yeah. wants to tempt you with those right. things. Because he wants you to look away from God. Right. Because mm. when, when you look away, then the door gets open and he can come into your life right. and mess things up. Yeah. And he will. You know, he will. Got a laser focus on God. Yeah, it, but it's, it's like that temptation is real. Yeah, it is. And it's a real danger. It's not just like a, a whip. Which is don't be tempted. Yeah, but that's why we put the armor on yeah. every... Renew and, your and, mind. And it's the thing about it, Jesus up. himself was tempted. Right. You know? Yeah. It was, he himself was tempted. You know? Yeah. That means that he went through that himself. Which is why you're more susceptible to temptation when you're in a weakened state. Yeah, absolutely. You strengthen yourself in Christ. That is your strength. You are so strong. Ever since I got brain cancer, I f have felt that, you know. That weakness. The weakness, yeah, yeah. like Physically, yeah. mentally, all of it. All yeah. of it. Yeah. But knowing how strong you are in Christ, it changes. Yeah, it, it has changed it everything. years to really yeah. come to understand that. Interesting. And then the last nine months has been like this radical transformation of my mind mm -hmm. and my heart. And I'm a very different person than I was. Very different. My focus is so different. Yeah, you are. I'm able to let go of things that aren't good for me and embrace things that are. I and that started yeah. like last October... You've Whereas, been able to let go of things that felt impossible to let go of. Well, you the know first thing that went was fear. Yeah. Being afraid of letting go of something. Yeah. You know? And then it was like I had been praying, praying, praying for me to change, for situations to change. And it was like God answered those prayers in the most profound way. And then it was about learning how to, well, that, that sign, you know, about learning, what a nice learning sign. to trust God and live in the spirit, understanding that he works all things out for, for his glory. Yeah. I, I didn't know that is a nice sign. Read and we repeat. take a picture of it. Put it yeah. on the screen. That sounds good. Maybe that could be our cover. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think, um. That's, it's interesting because in thinking about that, overcoming something, letting go of something, overcoming something that felt impossible, I think about people who are, are in that same kind of a state, whether it's like they're being, like they're tied to the chains of alcohol or they're tied to the chains of something that, you know, feels like a, it's a weight. Oh. It's, it's a, it's like it feels, you feel stuck. You don't feel oh, like yeah, you can yeah. ever overcome it. 
but you can. But they you will. Can, yeah, you can. You can. They they will if they seek Christ. Yeah. yeah. And to take the perspective of saying this doesn't have me, I, I can have the power over it. With because Christ, you with do. Christ, you have it. You yeah. have it. Absolutely, you do. Yeah. Amen. But people, you've got to do it. Yeah. It can't be a thing where you. I'm going to try this and see if it works. Your goal cannot be to stop drinking. Your goal has to be to serve God. Yes. It's not... Uh, people have this right. negative mentality about overcoming things. And somehow overcoming it is stopping the thing. Right. And it's not... It's getting closer to God. This is what you were talking about earlier. But, you, When you're doing that, you will not do the things already. You were going to do what's pleasing to God the the good things that get close to Christ and you'll see all those things change yeah absolutely and then the effort of you stopping that is over it's interesting right this means yeah. so good it's he's what's it was for me I love how God has set it all up you yeah. know oh yeah me too easier than people maybe realize in a sense you know what I mean yeah. like you have to let go you have to Humble yourself, let go of you, and yeah. be be exactly what God made you to be. That's which the is, big thing. I yeah. had to let, I had to let go of me. I had to let go of I don't even know how to explain it. It's I I have I had to learn to trust Him. Mm-hmm. I had to learn how to trust His plan for my life, mm-hmm. and not make plans of my own, but just kind of. Clean, wipe the slate mm-hmm. and just say okay God whatever you're going to do whatever you're going to do I'm okay with it because I know whatever you do is good Amen. You know, so it was like I'm now That's great. like I was telling you this morning we've had some blessings that mm-hmm. have been really good for us and we've been hoping in that mm-hmm. in him and I just want that to be the rest of my life I, I, I feel so Good, because I'm seeing things in my life change, and good things are coming, and I know it. And so I don't want. I all I can all I can imagine at this point now is just I believe that all the time, mm-hmm. and I'm going to, and that is that is what he asks you to do, you know. Yeah, I love. I really he like. He loves. He says he loves those who keep his commands, mm-hmm. and that's obeying. And people get sung up on obey. At least I did. Where it was like, what does obey mean? For years of my life. Because it's, it's about keeping his commands. When his first command, love the Lord your God with all your, your heart. heart, mind, and soul, is a big one. Yep, very big. Because that is the trust. Because uh-huh. that is my... I got a flat tire today. I could be really frustrated and worried and anxious about how am I going to pay for this or mm-hmm. whatever. Or I can just trust God. And that is fulfilling that first yeah. commandment yeah. to just trust this is going to work out. This well, is going to get taken care of. not he will having provide. any more anxieties. Right. Imagine not having any more worries. Ah, the world tells you to be yeah. so anxious and worried yeah. and fearful. When you can over, when you, like for, me, for us... The last nine months, we've really learned how to overcome some really hard times. Not just yeah. brain cancer, but oh, yeah. not having any money. And, you know, I don't know if I should say this or not, but about nine months ago, Chrissy got fired from a job she had for 21 years. And we were without money or income or anything for nine months. We had a big falling out with a friend, and life felt crazy. And yeah. all that got reversed. Well, and it could have easily just become bleak and yeah. hopeless. Bleak and, and all worry of that. and yeah. fear and yeah. you know, giving Empty. up. Which I'm not going to give up. So. Yeah, and, and it was neat because we were able to find... to Because it, it could have gone from feeling so empty. Because it, it, you know, that's very real. It could have felt that way. But to feel that fulfillment in Christ, it we could enjoy the last nine months you know what i mean like in rather than sitting in worry and fear the the last nine months i have enjoyed it's interesting quite a bit yeah it's been such a neat time and and i don't i can i can tell i can tell that moving forward in our life our perspective has shifted so much that 
Yeah. It, it is all blessing. It is all glory. I it mean, is there, all. There, there's pain. There were things that were painful, whatever. But all in all, mm-hmm. it was a very joyous time. Yeah. You and I got to spend last nine months together, and it was a time of strengthening and relying on yeah. each other and renewal and growing together more through Absolutely. that trial. And it's like it. I can feel it starting to change and I'm optimistic and excited for the future. I mm-hmm. really am. And I'm not one to get real excited about anything. So when Dennis was talking about expectations, mm-hmm. I think what I meant when I said I don't expect anything, well, I think what I meant was I'm not worried about anything. What I, I, as far as what I expect, I expect God to do what God's going to do and for it to be good. Amen. So I'm not expecting anything particular. I just know. No. Yeah. Know that God will do good things for me. So I don't. And when you know, like, that knowing is half the battle. But it really, like, truly, I know. Yeah. I don't have expectation. Yeah. I'm, I'm. I mean, I don't want to say arrogant, but I'm past the idea of expectation. I just know he'll be going to do good. Well, and I don't think it's arrogant. I think that it is a boast in the Lord. I think it is a it is a boast to say, I know. I know he will take care I of me. I just know he'll, yeah. he's going to take care of me. Yeah. And Amen. I'm really not worried about things. You know. It's a new life. I'm, uh, it's it a new is life. a new life. It feels great. Yeah. I love you, Pony. I love you too. Happy birthday, my love. Thanks, Pony. Well, I've been dead for a long, long time, waiting now to find you. If I could go, well, you would go. We'd make a song. Well, are you down to commit this? For all my love's life, I would find. Someone like you to beat this through and to make it show what you're saying now. If you me, please just believe me that it's all so easy if we make it so. Like, share, subscribe. Put a comment down below. (laughs) When in doubt, just say, SRAM, Satan!